Now, Thank this you. show, by the way, looks really intense, but it looks right up my alley. And I've yeah. seen you race, so I know you also like intensity, but this seems almost crazy to me. What were you thinking when you said, I'm in? Well, you know, it took me a second based on the whole kind of physical output to check myself for the show and say yes, but it took me zero seconds to think about taking the opportunity to stand up and jump up and down and scream and yell at the top of my lungs, thank you, thank you, thank you for your service, because our military is the reason why we live the life we live every day. You know, I want to tap into that a little bit because this show has had some controversies. There have been some veterans that have expressed concern that the show is trivializing war. And just today, nine Nobel mm-hmm. laureates sent an open letter to NBC saying that, quote, war isn't entertainment and that if it's a massive disservice to those who live and die in armed conflict and suffer its consequences long after the guns of war fall silent. What do you say to them, especially since this show is hosted by the former U.S. General Wesley Clark, who was also the head of NATO? Well, basically, the whole idea of the show is to depict what these officers go through day in and day out. Obviously, without being on the front lines, we can't do that. But we put our reputations on the line and we put our lives on the line to to try and depict the sacrifice that they make every day and basically to draw attention to their service and change the language in our society about what they're doing on a daily basis and encourage our children to thank them for their service, encourage our children to consider the military as an option, which before doing this show, it wasn't an option, in my opinion, for my children. And after doing the show, it is now an option. And these people are substantial. They are amazing human beings. They've sacrificed so much. And to all the veterans out there, I just want to say thank you. Thank you so much for your service and your sacrifice. You're you know astonishing what? human That's beings. A- that's a huge statement to make, Peekaboo. And, and what I know you're trying to say is that you're trying to honor these military men and women. Now, there's also, though, that been this controversy with Sharon Osbourne, who accused NBC of cutting her son Jack from the show because of his multiple sclerosis. NBC flat out denies that claim. And they say that they offered Jack two other roles on the show and he turned them down. Has all of this put any sort of damper on the show for you at all? No, absolutely not, because what we experienced Mm -hmm. as celebrities and what our operatives put us through, the training that we did, the missions we competed in were amazing. They were just the tip of the iceberg of what these people deal with on a daily basis. And all we're trying to do is just draw attention to it, scream at the top of our lungs, thank you, thank you, thank you, and get the American public to do the same thing. So, you know, we know that we're not going to be able to experience the front lines, and we shouldn't. It's a dog-eat-dog world out there, and it's, it's meant for those guys and gals that will go out there and really make those sacrifices. I sat next to my operative on the couch, and he told me two days after meeting him that he would sacrifice his life for me. There's a certain kind of human being in that that is amazing, and the wow factor Mm -hmm. attached to it is really substantial. So, And the the amount of money that we raised for charity to help these soldiers when they come back enter back into civilian life that's what it was all about it was embracing them when they come back for their service from their service if they're one of the lucky ones they inevitably have yeah. survivor's remorse and they're just going to try and get on with their life and they're going to try and absolutely absolutely our american people be infected positively by their skill set their morals absolutely And just the mentality that they have as human beings, they really aren't the rich and famous and they should be because they are the type of people that we want our children to grow up to be like. Peekaboo, we got to leave that there. And I appreciate you. Thank you very much for joining us today. Make sure you check out Peekaboo on Stars Earn Stripes. That's Mondays on NBC.